you guys to another video, y'all. All those problems I was having with my um, camera, I'm starting to have them again. God, please let this camera last to the end of the year, y'all, because I don't know what. Girl, just, just hush up, y'all. This is a, hi, how y'all doing? Welcome to my channel. This is a Dollar Tree haul. Now, let me do my thumbnail, girl. So now, y'all, I go to the Dollar Tree often because it's within five miles and you can get everything at the Dollar Tree. I love the Dollar Tree. I even have a um, wash day with the Dollar Tree video. And like my top 10 favorite things I like to purchase at the Dollar Tree that I will be linking in this particular video. Now, today I had a mission. Now, I don't know if you like me, but sometimes I put it in my head. I have a mission. I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree and I need to get these things. That turns into 10 additional things, but that's okay because it's only a dollar, right? But you got to, you know, girl. So I always try to stay $15 and under. That's my budget, 15 and under. And I only got $12 worth of stuff. So we did good today. So my mission was to go there to get some binders and like a little journal to start tracking some of the things, some of the things I'm going to be doing with JB at home because even though he goes to school now, um, he still needs some additional help, which I'm okay with, you know, doing some additional stuff at home. I'm absolutely okay with that. So let's jump right into it, girl. This is random as hell. Random. The stuff, I told you I had a mission. I got the stuff I wanted and some that I needed. And then I got my loans. So, <laughs> y'all, I go there quite often. So let's just jump into it, girl. Hmm. I'm trying to lose weight, but this is, you know, this is beating the cows. Uh, nutty buddy. The reason why I like these is because these are bigger than the ones that you buy. Because I don't even buy that stuff, y'all. I don't like to have that type of junk food in the house. But when I'm walking down the snack aisle, which my Dollar Tree has like five aisles is dedicated to snacks. At least I feel that way. Okay, there's, there's two. But I feel like there's five. With, with foolery like this. And so I pick up this. And then I get JD something. He likes his little sour gummies. <clears throat> Sticking in on the food, I needed some new, some more cumin. So I got some cumin. And I got some garlic powder. So now let's get into the stuff that I actually went to. <laughs> let's get into the items that I actually went there for. Um, I got this little cute little academic planner. Now I use a happy planner for everyday life and stuff that I, you know, but I also had, when I was homeschooling JB, I had an academic planner, but we put all of that stuff in storage. And this is cool. Um, just little stuff here that I can jot down what I plan on doing. And then I have a composition book that I'm just going to be doing for notes again, for stuff that we're going to be doing at home. Um, I purchased a dry erase marker because he does have a dry erase board here that we use for mostly for math problems and stuff like that. He is doing multiplication and division since he's in third grade. So I got some division flashcards for him. Girl, I was fit to be tied because I was looking for this stuff. Um, like three or four weeks ago and I bought some and then I, well, it was multiplication. Now they have everything I need. Um, I got some paint brushes because I am a crafty mom. And so sometimes doing, um, when we have little breaks, I do allow him to paint and all that. Okay, girl, let's move on to the second bag. I did good. Look, I rarely buy like more than 20 items at this place okay um oh wet and wow i got one of these eyebrow i'm gonna go ahead and open this up child a eyebrow and lash combo i used to have one of these and look someone like me i really don't need any okay we can't open this up oh no here we go all right see I like this because look my my eyebrows I hardly have any child I cut my eyebrows off in 1997 and <laughs> look thin eyebrows were big in the late 90s and early 2000s y'all know what I'm talking about so I shaved my eyebrows in the late 90s and baby they have not grown back since and I used to pencil them in very thin but whatever girl got that um 
Child, let me tell you something. Don't sleep on, you can't see here, do not sleep on the drinkware. So I got these huge wine glasses. I got two of them. I had two of them previously, but my husband broke them. Y'all, this is bad. When we were moving it in, um, when I was packing up, I have a bo I have two boxes full of stemware because I'm that type of person that like, okay, we have a margaritas, I need a margarita glass. Okay, we have a martini, I need a martini. You need to have the appropriate glass for what you're drinking. We don't even drink hard liquor like that anymore, but especially at home. But we do this wine, wine, pretty nice glass, right? All right. So, I forgot what I bought, girl. Why did she? Miss Vera, y'all, yeah, Miss Vera. This is a small area that we live in, even though we live in Phoenix. We live in North Phoenix in the area we live in. Mostly, you get to know people. But every time I walk in, she's like, hi, Vivian. Which is good, she's being nice. But I went up to her once. I said, let me tell you something, Miss Vera. She's like, hey, sweet pea. She calls me sweet pea, because she's old enough to be my mom, right? She's like, what is it, sweet pea? I said, I'm gonna need for you not to be calling my name out loud like that, like I come in here all the time. Because, you know, all the, every, as soon as you call my name, everyone turns around looking at me. So I, I need for you not to be doing that. And she starts laughing. She's like, but you were just in here yesterday. I said, are you sure about that? Because that could have been anybody. She said, yeah, sweetie, I checked you out. I said, you know what? I'm like, don't be, don't be calling my name. It could be bill collectors in here. So anyway, um, Glade plug-in. I put one of these in my bathroom. Bathrooms every so often. I love these and I like to get lemon. Um, yeah. What else? I got some more dishwasher, dishwashing liquid. Do not sleep on their cleaning products. Now, some stuff is trash. But I always like to get the Fabuloso dishwasher, um, Glade. They have a banging oven cleaner. Like, I wouldn't recommend doing this on a week. I wouldn't use the oven cleaner on a weekly basis. But that oven cleaner, they have this toxic tea. Excuse me, I'm coughing just thinking about it. You have to wear a mask and gloves. So I use that to clean our oven, which was nasty, y'all. I look because it doesn't have a sub cleaning option on it, which honestly, those sub cleaning ovens are trash. But anyway, my point is the oven cleaner at Do Dollar Tree is pretty good for the price. It's a dollar. And of course, I have my rubbing alcohol, which I try to keep this in stock. So yeah, y'all, that's not bad, huh? So yeah, that is it. Tell me what are your favorite things to get at the Dollar Tree? Like honestly. I get so many things, but you have to be careful because some things are actually cheaper out. Like, what is it that I used to buy all the time at the Dollar Tree? I'm like, okay, you need to stop doing this. Well, even this right here, sometimes at Walmart, these will be on sale for 89 cents, 80 cents. You know what I mean? But also check out your Dollar Tree clearance section. Yeah, girl, Dollar Tree be having a clearance section to where you can get some items for very, very cheap. So, all right, you guys, that is it. I know this is a quick video, but just something to put out there to share with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.